Hi there, my name is Fraser Kane. I am the publisher of Universe Today, and I just wanted to give you a demonstration of the cool new Phases of the Moon app that we've created for Android and for iOS devices. Now this is the Android version, uh, so I just wanted to show you this. Um, so you can see it shows you the, uh, the current date and the current time, as well as the phase of the moon with a nice graphic representation that was actually created by NASA satellites. You can see the percent illuminated and the and the accurate distance to the moon. And you can see that number is actually changing over time, uh, how old the moon is, and when it rises and sets in your location. We actually detect that with GPS. The cool thing about this is you can actually drag the moon back and forth, and you can see the dates and the other information changes dynamically as you move forward. You can also pick a very specific date if you want to pick a date here, right? In the future, you could pick that date and it'll change to that time and date. You can also um, go to the next full moon or you can also go to the next new moon. If you see, we've got this cool, totally unscientific star background going on here. Uh, it just looks cool. We know that it's not scientific, so you can turn that off in the settings if you want. We also detect if you're in the northern or southern hemisphere, and so we'll put the moon in the proper orientation for you. And then you can also, if you want, you can publish out uh, your images of the moon. You can put them into Google+, into Facebook, into Picasa, whatever apps you've got uh, working on your Android device. We've tested it. It works on Android from 2.02 .02 all the way up to the latest version of Jelly Bean on every device we've been able to test it on. All right, give it a try. It's only 99 cents in the Google Play Store. You press the back button, brings you back till now.